Hey yo, what's going on boys and girls? I thought I'd give you all like a bit of a story time and make this connection on how bodybuilding and fitness and aesthetics and all this kind of like like really low intelligence kind of uh, stuff I guess like hobbies and pursuits basically led to me uh, enjoying and appreciating reading and learning a lot more. Like how did that even come about? Let's just, Let's actually discuss that. So this is story time about the fact that I, before I ever, so I think I think I keep mentioning the fact that I started training in 2008, right? And that I've been, what is it, 2021 now? So it's like almost 13 years, I think, 13 years, right? So yeah, so I started training in 2008, but I only ever count the amount of time where I knew what I was doing. Like actual effective time of training. Like I actually count my training age from the effective time of training but I knew what I was doing and from there on out. So that, that was 2008. What I never really uh, count uh, before that is that I did go to the gym and try and lift weights and try and get results, maybe 2006, but most definitely in 2007 because I remember that I was such a fat kid, <laughs> not a fat kid, sorry. I, I became so fat for myself uh, because, and I used to be, like you've seen me, man, I'm a fucking extra, I'm a skinny ectomorph. Uh, so before I became that skinny ectomorph, I was skinny fat fat because my mom stopped me from playing soccer and like football and sports and all that kind of shit because uh, in India we have to study for fucking entrance exams, <laughs> engineering entrance exams and IIT and blah blah blah. So she kind of like stopped me from going out for uh, for the last two years of my schooling. So I kind of pretty much had like almost, almost no uh, physical activity almost going on. Especially the last three months or six months, it became like fucking nuts. Like she lost her mind. Anyways, man, I'm, I'm just gonna add this. Like she used to wake me up at like 4, 4.30 a.m. in the morning and she would teach me herself. Like it's not like she would make me just sit and study. She would teach me herself. So that's pretty insane. But it was also pointless to be honest. Anyways, um, yeah, I grinded hard for like, I didn't sleep for like two years straight. I did not sleep for two years straight from like after 10th class, from like all of 11th and 12th, uh, it is only Indian people that are going to understand what that, what that means. But the final two years of my education, of uh, Indian schooling and education, is where they figure out whether you're going to be in engineering or, or medical or fucking lawyer or commerce or blah blah blah, human resources and blah blah blah. So, yeah, I did not sleep for two years. I even had a girlfriend back then. Which is, so you, you need to imagine, like I would be on the phone with her all night and then my mom would come and fucking wake me up at like fucking 4.30 a.m. So there were so many days that I actually never even slept. Anyways, let's get into this. <clears throat> yeah, so there were those one year to two years where I was trying to lose the, fa uh, the weight and the fat and all that shit that I, that I gained. And I was trying to get a bit more jacked uh, before I went to college and university. And not for the women, but it was more like, uh, there's a certain something called as ragging uh, in Indian colleges and universities, which is basically, uh, it's hazing, it's hazing for you guys. So it's, the seniors kind of like haze the juniors, um, but it could it could get pretty bad and, and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, so there used to be these things uh, that was ragging and hazing. And one of the easiest methods, obviously, to try and save yourself is basically to try and become Jack, right? Because the more Jack you are, <laughs> the less people want to mess, mess with you. So besides the weight loss and the fat loss shit, I also had that other reason of trying to like prep, trying to prep before I go to school about getting a uh, jack so that nobody in school would mess with me. Um, so we, what, I started off kind of the same way that all of you probably start off and probably the same way that everybody starts off, which is looking at the most jack guy inside the gym. So the most jack guy inside the gym, uh, so I would go straight to the trainers. And the trainers were like, uh, in Hindi, Guru Jad Bhaiya. <laughs> Which is like, Jad Bhaiya is like fucking psycho up here, crazy. Like there's no in intellect behind, there's no intelligence behind anything of what they do. But at the same time, they have fucking BBC genetics. So you can give them God, like anything. They just look at weights and they, look, they become bigger uh, and stronger and blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of like going up to like 
fucking some random black guy who's always been big and huge in, in his entire life and you're some fucking skinny twerp ectomorph asian kid trying to take advice from him trying to get huge like it's never gonna work <laughs> so but i didn't know that obviously like nobody i didn't know anything about genetics or education or anything how how am i supposed to know what's right education from wrong there was no instagram back then there was no social media there was no fucking facebook when i went to university uh there was such a thing called as Orkut and hi Five Rock On. I don't even know how many of you people know that shit used to exist. That was probably around the same time MySpace used to exist or some shit. But yeah, it was back then. So, um, yeah, so I, I went to the, you know, the, the gym trainers and shit and tried to get some advice from them. And nothing's fucking happening. I have no idea what's going, what's going on. Nothing's happening. And then, uh, it's actually kind of, I can kind of segue into like another story as well, but I'm going to do it next time. It's basically another guy, just like me, my age, my same time, graduated from school at the exact same time as me, who also joined the gym, just like me, but then he fucking became swole as fuck in like a year and a half or something. And you know how and you know why. But uh, I'll take going to that story at some other point. So yeah, so as the Guru Jarbiya trainer where I was, got nothing out of it, right? Then I moved into university. I never got any results with you. I lost a bunch of fat because what I would do is I would come to the gym and do 15 minutes of treadmill, 15 minutes of elliptical, and 15 minutes on the bike, sweat my ass off for 45 fucking minutes, and then I would go and do some weights. Because I, back then I had no clue that you, you, you never do cardio before training. I had no idea. Uh, but I successfully lost weight back then. So that's another like uh, uh, idea of being an ectomorph like it's really easy plus the first time that i tried to lose weight i managed to do it now i did also kind of starve myself that is true because i would only eat like one meal a day or i was just trying to like go without eating so i did lose a bunch of weight there's no there's no doubt about that but i never gained any muscle i probably lost whatever even inkling of muscle i even had i probably lost that too then i moved to the university and uh, if anyone's from Manipal, you guys probably remember this. There was this uh, hotel, probably it still is. It was called Valley View Hotel, and that's where me and my dad basically went because we were when he tried like, when he left me for university and shit. So we used to stay there. So this Valley View Hotel had a gym of its own, and uh, and he and it had a trainer of its own. And I've actually mentioned this trainer before. I have mentioned this guy to you, referred to him as the Mountain, because man, this guy was huge, and he literally looked like well he looked like a reverse of a mountain he would like a fucking dorito <laughs> because he had very small legs and shit but his arms and pecs and chest and delts and like oh, fucking massive and shredded but at the same time like i'm visualizing what i remember from when i was like 18 years old so for all i know i'm probably bigger and jacked than him and more shredded than him right now but i don't know because i'm comparing something that's in my head you know so but anyways i remember this guy was swole as fuck right and I used to ask him, how do I do things? And uh, he used to try and advise me to, oh, do this weight and do that and blah, 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 blah. Uh, followed his shit, never got anywhere. And then, and obviously, now here's the other thing. This is why people leave the gym, right? Because like, I did the same thing. I tried to uh, uh, follow all these guys' routines and try to get advice from all these people. And I spent so much time going to the gym, like, every single day. And I'm not getting anywhere. So I just, like, fucking leave. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to, oh, you guys don't play football? Let's do it. Oh, you want to play FIFA? Let's do it. So... I just basically leave because I never got any results. So fast forward, uh, now the, the trainers in the gyms, no matter how big they were, they, they could never help me. So I thought, okay, maybe these guys are just idiots. They have no idea what's going on. So let's actually go, sorry about that, by the way. But yeah, so let's actually go and ask some of my colleagues, my students, my classmates, these guys who are more jacked than I am, that have more experience than I have in the gyms. So let's ask these guys what, what these guys are doing. <clears throat> so. I walk in and I ask these guys, uh, hey bro, because, oh yeah man, oh sh holy shit, these guys used to be some of the strongest guys in the gym, benching like 30 kilos, or like maximum 40 kilos, and for those of you, like, I know this guy who was considered a fucking tank, he used, used to be considered a fucking tank, dude, and this guy, his uh, max bench was 35, 35 kg on each side, and you need to remember that we didn't even have Olympic barbells, so he was probably benching like 70 kgs plus like 10 kilos of her bar, it's like 80 kilos, what's up? <laughs> Yo, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I was like, okay, these, these trainers are fucking idiots, right? So, let's just go to, like, some educated guys. Oh, yeah, and I was going, like, oh, this guy used to be a fucking tank. This guy used to lift, like, 35 kgs on this side, 35 kgs on this side. And, like, I like I said before, no Olympic barbell. So, like, uh, probably an 8 kilo rod. I'm just rounding it up to 10. So, he was probably benching, like, uh, 80 
80 kgs, right? Which is like 176 pounds, 175 pounds. And that guy used to be considered a fucking tank in our gym, dude. He was, he was also huge back compared to where, where I came from. He was huge. And uh, man, he was legit strong. Like, too. Like, I mean, he would. The person that could only bench 175. I remember this. You remember the the, the fight of my life story I mentioned before? He was the guy that came in and basically picked one guy with one hand and picked the other guy with the other hand. Like, fucking threw out like minimum of 15 people, if not like 30 people. He like just grabbed them and was fucking throwing people outside uh, in that fight. Anyways, the, I'm just like kind of trying to give you guys like an idea of strength and, and this and that and like comparisons and all that shit when I was younger and like where I come from, like from India and shit. So, so I, I started asking these guys for advice and none of their fucking shit works either. And it just, I remember that there was this other guy, not this guy, but there was another guy I used to train with. He was like, oh, train every day and train your abs every day because that's how you get abs. You train abs every day. And there was this other guy. Uh, who was trying to teach me how to bench. I was working working out with him. And he was benching like 30 kilos or some shit. And he repped out like six, seven, eight reps or some shit. And uh, then after that, he was like, okay, you go. And I couldn't even lift a bar. Like I couldn't even lift a fucking bar. So he was like, so he he was a bit like, he was he was surprised, he was shocked. He was like, what the fuck, you can't even lift it? All right, so then, so what what, what he did was, there was 10, 10 on each side. He basically moved the 10, 10, he moved it to five, five. And I still couldn't lift the bar. I couldn't lift the bar on a bar that was like eight to 10 kgs and like five kgs this side, five kgs this side. And that was like 20 kilos, I guess, right? So, or less, maybe 18. And I still couldn't lift it. And he was like, what the fuck? Now, the, it is true that I had already worked out that, like I'd already done a bunch of bench, bench and maybe push-ups and all that shit. So maybe I was like completely fatigued in my first, second, third week of training. So I had no idea what the heck was going on. So it is possible that I was that, I mean, I was even weaker than I was supposed to be, but that's how weak I was. And uh, so then he removed all the weights from the bar. No, zero kgs this side, zero kgs this side. And I remember that I couldn't bench the bar more than for like eight reps, like an eight kilo bar or like a 10 kilo bar max, which is like 20 pounds to 22 pounds max. When I weighed 70 kilos minimum, if not probably 75 kilos, I couldn't bench a barbell that was like fucking 10 kilos. Like, like imagine what I felt like when I, you know, when I was in that scene, in that scenario. So, uh, so he was looking at me like, he was kind of making fun of me, but he was like shocked making fun. Like he wasn't like, he wasn't like trying to be mean or some shit. Uh, he, he ended up being mean, but he didn't know he was being mean. He was just like shocked. I was like, how the heck can you not even lift this much? I was like, I mean, I just can't, I don't know. <laughs> so, so I went through all the fucking trainers. None of them could teach me anything. I went through all these other, uh, bro tards in the gym that are bigger and stronger than I am. None of these guys could teach me anything. And uh, so I gave up again. I, complete, I completely gave up once again. I was like, what the fuck is the point? And now I feel worse. Now I feel bad because all my friends know that I suck. Like all my friends know that I'm worse than them. And I, now I didn't know this back then, but you guys know that self-esteem issues, yada, yada. So like imagine how bad probably even that felt to like the 18 year old Ketan back then or 17 years old or some shit. So I decided, um, oh yeah, so I completely gave up. I was playing football or soccer for, like, and then I, I was really good at soccer. I, I've, I've always been really good at uh, football. Um, but then what happened was we uh, defeated all like the state level teams and like our fucking bullshit ass host, hostel, hostel team defeated like the school teams and like all that kind of shit. It was like, we, we did so well, but there was nothing else to do. There was nowhere else to go. There was no, like next progression level. So I was like, I don't want to play fo uh, football anymore because I can't, my parents aren't gonna allow me to make money out of it because you can't make money out of it. There's so much politics and shit in, in sport in India. So I'm like, I'm not gonna do this shit. That's when I was like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna fucking start trying to fucking get a six pack for the fucking fifth or sixth time. Let's just try this shit again. So I fucking joined the gym again. Now, I don't remember why. I actually genuinely don't remember why or how but i guess i had just decided this time that i'm not gonna go with someone else oh i think i kind of remember so i probably did try and get i probably did try to get along with someone else now you have to remember this i mentioned this in the in the loner uh, being a loner kind of lone wolf video if you remember we used to all hang out and play and like play sports and just do anything we would all hang out uh by the end of the first year i mean till the first year till the end of the first year and after that all of my friends got into like drugs and alcohol and poker and gambling and all that shit 
so what happened was i was left with no one like even if i wanted to i had nobody that wanted to go to the gym with me because they and and it was new like drugs were new to them right drinking was new so it was cool like poker was new so it was cool so they wanted to get into that kind of uh, that aspect of it so i didn't have anyone to go with me <clears throat> so i think now i i still remember the first book that i ever read and i read the whole book cover to cover and this book is like it is such a beautifully sold book like you can learn sales from this guy and this guy is a multi-millionaire he's uh his name is vince del monte he gets a lot of hate but uh check out the way that this guy sells man this guy is a fucking born salesman he can sell you he can like sell an eskimo fucking ice he's like you know it's it's insane how good of a salesman this guy is so anyways uh his first book was uh no nonsense muscle building god knows how long ago. i think i probably got i and i torrented it i remember that <clears throat> i torrented it or some shit and i got it from somewhere and uh it was like a 200 page like a 196 page 200 page manual i remember all of this shit and i like i went through the entire book the entire book front page cover to back page cover because <clears throat> the no nonsense muscle building he sold it uh, the tagline was was exactly me and everyone else like me like i'm the only guy that's the skinniest of all of my bunch i'm the only guy that doesn't have a six pack and you could see like he had pictures of all of this shit i'm telling you he was a master salesman he had like six guys uh five of his guy friends or some shit all who had six packs and he was the only guy that didn't he was the only person that was skinny and he showed pictures of skinny vinny which is him when he used to do marathon running and, like he was as skinny as i was or maybe more or some shit right so you so that's what i saw i was like i saw this guy who was that skinny like my level of skinny and then he put on a decent amount of muscle and like like significantly more amount of muscle that i i ever had or was like i i, I he he knew the way he this guy knew the way and i was gonna follow this guy because he knew the way um because because to me it was not like and you always like uh what is it correlate attach whatever like you associate with someone that's in your situation position or something similar right so all these big ass fucking monsters man they never came from where i came from so there's no way that i could ever get there and i already tried their way didn't i, I already tried the big guru jard bhaiya trainers methods and all that shit and i never got anywhere so i'm like i'm these guys i'm not using their fucking techniques because this guy's come from exactly where i've come from and he's managed to get all the way to here so i'm going to listen to him and i devoured his entire book <clears throat> his book had all the basic principles <clears throat> progressive overload uh the main lifts i actually don't know how much of the main lifts he had or he didn't have i don't remember that i don't think he really he probably did do the, he did explain compound moves and he very easily very uh properly explained progressive overload but i don't think he he explained like these six moves are the best ones that you have to do blah 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 and uh, so much more like what is the importance of protein what is the importance like what is a heart gainer like cuz you're just not eating enough like just fucking eat like a motherfucker just eat it's like just just eat i don't care what what's going on how full you are just eat more <clears throat> so i devoured devoured his entire book right and then i started going to the gym and within the first 3 weeks i started making gains that i had never seen before like strength and now i actually this was the first time in my life that anyone had ever told me you have to fucking measure what the fuck you're doing like you have to track and log your fucking progress so you know what's going on i never knew that before this so i never tracked or measured my progress or anything so when i started doing it i was like what the fuck i'm actually like every day i went to the gym even though you can't see in the mirror that you're making gains you still know that you're making gains because i went from like 5 pounds to like 10 pounds to 10 pounds to like 15 pounds 15 to th- so i know that i'm making gains based off of this guy's theory so what happened was i was very happy the first 3 weeks or 4 weeks and i'm telling you this <clears throat> so uh, any of you new guys like uh, the guys all of you that are working with me or anyone that's new basically tell me if this isn't true every 21 days and i mentioned this to all of my clients every 21 days you're going to see results if you fucking execute the program you stay accountable you do exactly what i tell you to do every 21 days you're going to see gains and every 21 days you will see visible gains now i'm not talking about other people like you will see visible gains it's the hardest for yourself to see your gains every 21 days you can see gains <clears throat> and i started seeing those gains right and uh, but then but then what happened was he didn't teach you how to lift etc etc So what happened was I started getting and now I don't know if you guys know this I mentioned this before but I have ganglion cysts in both of my arms. Um and I've had this because I played soccer so much and I hurt myself every year. So I have ganglion cysts in both of my arms and I think he wanted me to like bench like super wide or ultra wide or some shit like that and I couldn't do it. So I basically started Google. That was the first time that I Googled besides Vince's book that I somehow found. I don't know what push me to find it but i found it and then after that once i got my pain then i basically was a like bench press wrist pain that's what i google 
And I remember Strong Lifts 5x5 came up. <laughs> and then Strong Lifts is another Mehdi from stronglifts.com. He's another master, master marketing genius. Um, he's not a strength coach. He's just a marketing. He's just a normal guy that does everything. Uh, just did weightlifting by himself and knew the basic novice uh, linear progression programming and just start everyone. That's it. <clears throat> um, so another genius. And then I started going through his uh, his website. Like I went through the wrist pain and I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense. This guy seems to be smart. So let's see some other stuff. And then I think there he was like, why you should only be doing these three moves or these six moves? Why these are the best six moves? And I went into that and then he basically explained the squat, the deadlift, the bench, the row, the press, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, it was like, uh, <clears throat> why you need uh, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. That was the same in Vince's uh, course as well, but even here. And it was like, why you need to drink like a gallon of milk a day. Now he ripped it off of uh, starting strength, obviously, right? From Mark Rippert, we know that. It's like, why you need to do blah, blah, blah. And like so many, so, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. <clears throat> and then he had the same things that I've made in the video. I'll try and link it to you guys. But the why 5 by 5s are the basis of strength training. Why strength is the basis of hypertrophy uh, training. <clears throat> I, went, I explained all of this to you guys. Because this is the same shit that I had learned like 11, 12 years ago. Which is that um, everyone that knows Arnold and, and uh, Franco Colombo and stuff. They know them from the, from the movies and they know them from the physiques, right? Almost nobody, especially as a beginner, you don't know. Nobody knew that these guys came from powerlifting. Like these guys actually started off lifting insane, insane, insane amounts of weight, like 700 pounds, 600 pounds, 500 pounds. Like they, they, they were insanely strong. Nobody knew about that. But this guy basically had pictures of Arnold and Franco Colombo and such, um, uh, benching and squatting these heavy ass fucking weights. And you could see <clears throat> uh, Arnold like squatting like 500 pounds or some shit. And uh, so that's when I was like, what the fuck? Arnold used to squat and deadlift? I didn't know that. Because the only shit that you've ever seen about, if you're a beginner, the only shit that you've ever seen about Arnold is like his fucking big ass biceps and him doing like 21s and bullshit stuff like that. And like donkey calf raises and fucking bullshit nonsense stuff like that. So, um, I was like, what the fuck? This guy's actually doing the true secrets. The true secrets of Arnold. Okay, I gotta go this side. <laughs> So yeah, so I was like, okay, I gotta go um, and find, uh, learn from this guy who actually knows the secrets behind Arnold's strength and size and everything else. So then I devoured the entire fucking Stronglist 5x5 website, uh, stronglist.com website. And man, I like most of you guys know, but my programming is, it's a much more, like I said, I have four tiers of phase one programming, after which there's a lot more. Stronglist does not have like, Strongest this has two phases, and that's it. And that's the entire program. That's it. It only has sorry. It only has one phase, and has two tiers of progression in it, and that's it. There's nothing else in Strongest. So, and uh, like obviously, my programming is like fucking twelve years of my education and experience to try and modify and increase and and make it better. Like on Strongest Five by Five, I also became like a fat fuck because I just I just had so much I, a gallon of milk a day every day so i became bigger and stronger that was great but also just became fucking fat as fuck <laughs> because i didn't need that much of a surplus of calories and shit so i mean i learned i made mistakes and i learned but that's the best way to actually learn because you, even if you make mistakes you're doing something the whole point is to literally do some shit most people just don't even do anything so so th so basically yeah my my interest in bodybuilding and fitness and like like meathead airhead shit like just looking good basically explained to me uh made me understand man i went to the guys that look the way that they that it looks like these guys can teach you they got these guys cannot fucking teach me shit i went to the other guys that are comparatively more intellectual or some shit these guys couldn't teach me shit either and the only way that i did it was i basically logged on and i read what what interested me and i tried to find the answer for it for myself i'll also like kind of shorten like another story that that also kind of sh explains to you like the nutrition aspect of things and how I improved upon my nutrition for fat loss for the first time ever. Um, so for the first three years, I was kind of perma bulking. Three years, like, and and the way that that works is because uh, every time I didn't have access to uh, my school university gym, there was no other gym in Delhi that I knew of. And did I have a car or didn't I have a car? I don't remember this all this shit, all this shit at that point. But I didn't have access to another gym, and and the gyms that I did have access to, and I checked. So much, I checked all of them. Trust me, you know, like I don't leave a fucking stone unturned. I checked all of the gyms that I knew. 
none of them had a fucking squat rack. Um, so I basically just couldn't squat and deadlift and strong lifts said, like Mehdi said, if you cannot squat and deadlift or if you cannot squat, then there's no point in training or lifting. Like you're just wasting your time. So I've, I obviously know more than that now, but back then that's what I thought. So every time I used to leave university to go home, I would just stop lifting. So I'd like lose my gains and then come back and then regain my gains. So that was basically how I did back and forth and back and forth for about two years, one and a half to two years or something until I finally became so fat, <laughs> along with being huge and strong, I just became so fat. I remember that we were at this uh, trip on, in Goa and unfortunately I don't have any pictures of this. So for Goa, for the rest of you guys, is basically, uh, uh, it's basically India's Vegas, which is like a really cheap Vegas, but it is, and it's pretty, it's pretty cool, man. it's pretty cool. You should, you should definitely check out Goa at least once. <clears throat> But yeah, so the first time I went to Goa and like it was like on the beaches and shit. I was like, I'm the fucking jacked ass dude. And uh, these guys took my pictures and I saw my picture and I looked like a fucking nine months pregnant woman. <laughs> I remember I was like, I've been fucking walking around like a fucking macho man and I look like this. Bruh, <laughs> I was like, I look like one ugly fuck. All right, bro, as soon as we get home, I put my shirt on. I was like, all right, as soon as we get home, I'm going to start my cut like ASAP. And the, I'm just gonna condense the whole, the cut thing, but because it's like 25 some fucking minutes. <clears throat> but uh, I started off my cut with the, with the thing that I showed or explained to you guys like two days ago, like two days ago or three days ago, I put up that Instagram post of uh, my first cut, like the 2010 up here, 2010 crucifix and the 2021 crucifix. Uh, and that was my first cut ever. That was the first time I ever got shirt tabs. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so in that cut, I remember this. The first month, first three weeks to a month, man, I was struggling so hard. Like my hunger was fucking through the roof. Um, like because I was eating like chipmunk fucking squirrel meals, and I was like, oh my god, I'm hungry all day long, and I'm trying to eat six meals to stroke stroke the metabolic fire bullshit fucking nonsense that I obviously didn't know back then. <laughs> and then you're listening to these fucking IFBB pros that are going on about, oh, six meals a day or eight meals a day. And like, I'm eating like chipmunk fucking meals. Uh, I was like, oh my God, I can't fucking do this shit. This is so hard. This is so hard. Um, and then again, I went to the Strongest Forum then again. And on the Strongest Forum, I basically learned, uh, what the fuck did I learn? Oh yeah, on the strong, Strongest Forum, someone actually told me, all that stroking that metabolic fire is fucking bullshit uh eating like chipmunk meals is not going to help you you're obviously going to be hungry because you're like you're not getting satiated and you're just eating more and like building up the ghrelin again and again so uh he's like uh just fucking do intermittent fasting and if you want to learn about intermittent fasting go to Mer martin birkin's website uh is it what? leangains.com go to leangains.com and then I went to, and that's when I went to Martin Birkin's website uh, to try and find out how to fucking survive my fucking diet because I'm not gonna give up on my goal. I was like, I have, I, I have to get a six pack. I don't care what the, f I don't care how much I have to starve myself. I will fucking get a six pack. I don't care how much I have to run. I will fucking get a six pack because that's, I decided I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. So I was like, how do I make this shit easier? How do I do this better? Um, and I went to Martin Birkin's website and then he showed, uh, he had so many studies about people doing Ramadan and like, you know, obviously they, they fast, like they do intermittent fasting, obviously, right? And like how, they, how good they are and like other Olympic lifters and blah, 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 blah. And man, I fucking devoured his entire website again. Like Martin Birkin's website, all gone. Two days, all articles, like for the most part, all the important articles, right? All of them. And I was like, that's it. All right, intermittent fasting is the way to go. That's the first time I used intermittent fasting. That was the first time I ever got abs. I'll have pictures of my abs. But at the end of it, I'll have a couple of other back shots and all that kind of shit as well. But yeah, that since then is basically when I realized the importance of actually studying, reading, learning. Like you could try and learn or you could try and get advice from other people, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Most people are fucking idiots. <laughs> most people just don't know, uh, which is why you're trying to find coaches, which is why people are coming to me, which is why I, ha I hire coaches because they have testimonials showing I took this guy from here to here. I took this guy from here to here. So you're not looking at you're not looking at a guy that has like 300 girlfriends. You're looking at him who's taking guys that cannot even open their fucking mouth to have like 20 girlfriends. Some shit like that. You see what I mean? Um, you're not looking at uh, guys that, that themselves have like 300 pounds of muscle. You're looking at this guy that has taken people that are 130 pounds fucking soaking wet and has put on like 30 pounds of muscle on them. Like, those are the guys that you want to be looking for. Like I'm looking for, right? But this shit didn't exist back then. 
but anyways that's when that's when i basically understood i'm not gonna look at go at face value or or just expect someone to know some shit i'm just gonna go online and fucking read everything that i possibly can and that's how fucking as not moronic or like whatever low value or something of 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 a sport of like looking good basically made me understand the importance of reading writing studying learning <clears throat> and i just once i learned it from there i basically applied it everywhere else anyways i hope all of you guys and girls enjoyed that story it came out to be pretty long but i honestly think it was so interesting uh so if you did please do leave a like comment share subscribe uh let me know help me out with the youtube algorithm and i shall see you all next time And finally, if I can help you to create a training program in order for you to gain muscle and not fat, if I can help you to create a diet where you can optimize fat loss and not muscle loss, if I can help you to understand how essential a reverse diet is and set it up for you, or if you're using any SARMs or steroids or any PEDs and you need help with guidance and safety around those, or if you just need to understand what your blood tests actually mean, or if you're trying to navigate life and you want to understand your psychology and other psychology and how can you be more productive and happier in your own life, please feel free to reach out to me. My Instagram and my email are both in the description box below as well as on the video in front of you right now. And finally, if you can help me out, if you know other people that need my help and advice and guidance, but they don't even know that I exist, just let them know about my existence. Finally, if you haven't already, then please help me out with the like, comment, share, subscribe, and I shall see you all next time. Peace.